interesting stuff. It really is. Mm -hmm. All right, something else interesting is going on outdoors, and that's where Gervir is right now. Gervir? We've got the plants out here. Derek Thomas, our friend from uh, Thomas Landscapes, is here. Derek? This time of year, love these natural gardens. Absolutely. And what we're talking about today is attracting butterflies to the garden. Mm -hmm. You know, butterfly population is on the decline. There's over 12,000 species of butterflies and moths that are native to North America. And what we want to talk about today is actually bringing a lot of the flowers into the garden that are going to attract the butterflies and make your garden a destination to them. And what I love about this is that I like a really natural garden, old-fashioned garden, and that's it's, what these plants absolutely are. absolutely about creating an old-fashioned garden. And as we do this, what I want to do is I want to talk about some of the plants. You know, it, we've got echinacea. This is cone flower. Right. The wonderful thing about cone flower, a lot of people want long-lasting plants in the garden. The cone flower is going to be one of the best because it will last up to two months. And as I do this, I want to take a time to just cut a little bit of this because what we're going to do is we're going to create. Okay. Um, this is butterfly bush. You know, everybody talks about butterfly right. bush. This is actually Budlea, which is known for attracting the butterflies. Right. I've got both of these in my garden. This is crepe myrtle. Yep. This is another really long-lasting one. You know, and the, the flowers there, you see them just coming in. Mm -hmm. We've got Texas hummingbird mint. Love it. This is going to attract not only butterflies to the garden, but also hummingbirds. We've got Russian sage. And we've got some oriental lilies, which are just absolutely phenomenal. Oh my gosh, those are spectacular. You know, and watch the pollen on the shirt. I will. And, you know, then we can spice it up a bit with the reds because butterflies love the red. Are and they the, attracted to colors? They're attracted, yeah, they're attracted to more to reds and to blues and okay. purples. Now, one of the great things is, as you see, we'll get you one of the white echinaceas. By having a butterfly garden, you've also got, when you're having that function, you've got the perfect old-fashioned flower. Okay, I love okay. that. Those are really nice. Now, the butterfly, all of these plants, are these perennials? No, these are all perennials that you have here. Things like the petunias, which right. are this. This is going to bloom all summer long. It is an annual. Okay. The penstenium, which is this grass. It's one of the natural grasses that butterflies are attracted to. It's going to add some movement to the garden. It is also an annual grass. Okay. But everything else is, with the exception of the hibiscus, we've got a hibiscus also. Mm -hmm. That is also an annual, or you can bring it in in the winter, winter it over and then take it back outside. But you know, the wonderful thing is that not only are you doing something good by attracting the butterflies to your garden, but you're making an attractive garden in the same time. That's wonderful. Will these flowers, uh, what's the bloom time for these? Are, okay. are they going to bloom all summer long? Well, you've got things like the stilbies, which last for a very fleeting amount of time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But then you've got things like Russian sage. These are going to bloom for about two months. Beautiful. Okay, you've got the salvias. Those are going to bloom all summer long into the fall. Mm -hmm. The crepe myrtle, they will last about two months. And once again, the echinacea. You know, that that is one of my favorites. It's, it, it starts to bloom now, and come the end of August, you've still got blooms on there. See, that's beautiful. Um, other than just the fact that these look nice and the butterflies look pretty, f you know, flittering around, What's the advantage to having the butterflies in your garden? Well, you know, butterflies are a natural pollinator, mm -hmm. so we need them. And the other thing is a lot of the insecticides that we've been using lately have declined the butterfly population. There's a, there's a big study, and a lot of scientists are looking into why the monarch butterflies have declined. Right. You know, they're not returning to our gardens. They used to winter over in Mexico. They're not returning to their wintering grounds. You know, most butterflies only live 20 to 40 days, but the monarchs are ones that they really were able to track and see that we're starting to decline that. So it's a good thing that people are going green, getting back to organics, because we need the butterflies. They're Mother Nature's way of making sure that we have more plants next year. I love it. These are absolutely lovely. Derek, thanks. Thank Appreciate you. It. Back into you. Give All right, Gervais, Derek, thank you very much.